Right. Let's get these over here. We can come around and pick them up with a JCB in a minute. I should have thought about this a bit more when we were putting these greenhouses in. It's, uh, it's not the, the, the most ideal situation wheeling them in and out using this, but it is what it is, I suppose. There we go. Right, so we'll pop this back in there. Oh, we need to check the chickens. Uh, well, we'll put this away. We'll grab the spuds and then on our way through we'll check the chickens out. Make sure they're good with food. Make sure they are good with eggs. So, grab that. Here we go. And we'll just stick this down here. Just here, dude. Right, chickens, what eggs have we got? Hey. That'll do. Right then. Pop this down here. Close up the door so there's no escapees. Don't want you getting out. They look happy in there, don't they? Good old chickens. Check the feed. How's the feed? Oh, it's getting low. Okay. Well, spuds, we'll take them straight to the shed. We'll grab the JCB and the bucket. And we'll bring some feed around for them. I'm thinking of putting a... Putting a track through into the wood like we had before. Just to make it easier, because it's a, it's a bit tricky coming in and out of that gate on the corner over there. But yeah, that's uh, that's winter work that is, or autumn work. Definitely not for the summer. So pop that there. Marjorie's been getting ready for the summer fair left the van there which is quite inconvenient but anyway jump in the JCB we'll pop the bucket on and we'll scoop up the feed that we've got gonna have to get some more I think this will be our lot for them there we go on you go. Here we go. I'm going to scoop up that feed. Perfect. So yeah, we've got a, a relatively easy going day. I've done the cows already. So they're all fed and watered. So they're happy. We've got to go down to the farmer's market. I've got to go down to Kenny's auctions and cut his field for him ready for the fair, which is in a couple of days. Um, I did say to him it would be better if he cut it and bailed it, but he just wants it flail mode, so we're going to use David's flail mower, which is a bit controversial because it was supposed to be David who was doing it all. I don't know how I've been roped in to go and cut it. Anyway. That's what we've got to do today. So, let's get this feed in here. And then we can get finished up. Go. Not quite. 
man. those eggs, stick them in the bucket, we'll close up the, there's not much left is it, eggs, into the bucket, we'll close that up, and we'll go around, take the bucket off, come back around with the forks, yeah, the track. I was thinking, we'll take out the corner of this hedge, run through, take down those trees, which we can use as firewood, and then, um, yeah, have a nice little track through, which would be handy. Marjorie is still going on about these blooming Christmas trees which she wants to put in this field which really is the only choice because we rent the other one so oh I don't know oh, I don't know whether it's the right thing to do or not I, I personally think it would be more um, more worth our while just to sell the hay off of it but she seems to think that if we do Christmas trees We'll make a killing. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm sure I'm going to lose this battle, but I shall persevere with my theory until I've completely lost and it's, I'm the last man standing, which I am anyway. <laughs> I want the forks there and there. Let's move the old Reno. That should do it. I'm gonna grab the forks. <coughs> Who's this now? Hello? Hello, Miss Palmer, Kenny from Yorkshire. Ah, Kenny. I was just calling to make sure you hadn't forgotten about cutting the grass for me. No, I haven't forgotten, Kenny. I'm coming down. I'm just, uh, I'm just sorting out our stuff up here, and then once I'm done, I will be down to you. Okay, brilliant. Um, will that be before lunch, will it? Well, it'll be after lunch, I would imagine. Oh, oh okay. Well, I'll see you later then, Mr. Palmer. See you later then, buddy. Bye. Kenny is panicking. I'm not surprised really, he's been organising this whole summer fair all by himself. Which is his own fault really, it was his idea. But he wanted to do it, so we will help him as best we can. So let's get this on here. How's that? Go on. Well, hopefully that'll slide down. Come on, slide down. Just a little bit. Just to make it a bit safer. Nope, it's not having none of it, you know. Oh, oh, what's going on? What's going on? What? What's going on? What is going on? Right. You safe? Lift? No. What? Is, what? Uh oh. What is? Uh oh. Uh. Oh no. What is going on with him? We got any first pipes? Doesn't look like it. Yeah. 
no leaks. No leaks. They're fine. Hmm. Hmm. I think. I don't think I'm going to use this. No. I'll take this back round to the ship. I'll go and grab David's. I don't quite know what's going on there. Very weird. I wonder if it was the pump. I don't know. I'll give the... I'll get this in the shed and I'll give Niall a call so if he's got any ideas. Let's see what he thinks. That was weird though. That was really weird. I'll just pop her in here and then we'll grab David's. Right, we got the old trusty slightly newer JCB. All I want to do is put these things in the shed. I hope we don't have any problems with this one. Right. On we go then. I'm not having a load of day today. Am I? I'm not having a load of day at all. I think I should be sat in front of the telly drinking tea. Right. Well, that seems to have gone to some kind of plan. We'll get this brown. Drop it off in the shed. And then I need to get the flail. I think we'll get it coupled up to the case. Then we'll have some lunch. And then we'll um, we'll head down and cut this field. I think that's the best plan anyway. So we'll stick this in here. Hopefully she can sell a load of this. That would be fair. Would be nice. Get it clear again, and have a tidy up then. And have a tidy up and sort out. And then it'll be nice and clear. Right. I've had to uh, move a load of stuff. Because the, the little John Deere was blocking in the flail mower and various other things. But now we can get it on. So, this is just in here. So we'll back her up, stick on the mower. Porky to fit through some of these gaps. I'm gonna to have to lose some weight. Let's go up. Excellent. Go around. We'll have some lunch. A nice light lunch. I blame Marjorie. She's the one that feeds me. Parker up here. Okay. 
Lovely. There we go. Perfect. Lunch time. Well, I've had me lunch. I was on the phone to Niall. He seems to think that it sounds like uh, the hydraulic pump on the JCB. Uh, so we're going to investigate. I'm going to have to take it apart and have a look see what's... Oh, what's he doing here? Hello, Mr. Palmer. Hello, Kenny. David, what are you doing here? Well, I thought I'd come down and make sure that you did a good job, eh? Well, as I recall, you're the one that's supposed to be doing it, eh? Aye, well, I'm supplying mower. Yeah, I'm sure that makes it right, mate. Right, Kenny, um, are you sure you do not want this done in bales? Because it just seems like a very big missed opportunity. Yes, I know, Mr. Palmer, but we just don't have the time now, do we? I mean, what will we do? No. Yeah, I suppose you're right. It would take some time. It just it just seems like a it just seems like a waste, really. Alright, well there ain't no time to do it, John. We'll have to uh just get it mowed. It'll be right. Yeah, I suppose. Anyway, um be careful of the little green John there. The brakes were feeling a bit woolly. Aye, well, I'm not going to be using it today any road. Well, just be warned, so you know. Anyway, I'm going to get on with this. Okay, Mr. Palmer, thank you very much. No problem, Kenny. See you later, David. Aye, ta-ta, John. I'm supplying the mower. Anyway. Right, this is the field. Um, and we're going to uh, chop it up. It does seem such a waste. Look at all this lush grass. We could get some nice bales out of it. Even silage. Get some silage out of it. But he don't want to. So. <sighs> what can I say? Can't say anything really, can I? Just get on and do the job. Not even like I'm getting paid for it, doing it out of the uh, kindness of my heart. To be fair though, we have got a free stall on the fair, so... Kind of paid for itself, in it, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to uh, stick the radio on and... Uh, have a nice nonchalant drive around the field for the next couple of hours I'd say at least a couple of hours this is one of my favourite jobs topping fields
couple of strips to do and we are finished a couple of little tufts I want to get as well uh, taking a bit longer than what I kind of expected we've got sunset coming in but never mind it's been nice just pootling around with my thoughts cutting the grass I'm quite looking forward to this fair it's a nice, uh, nice change from the norm lots of different things to see, we've got a load of vintage tractors coming and various other things from what I understand There's always, always a strip in there. Always some kind of strip. Let's get it then. I think we missed a bit of the front. Yeah, I do. Typical. Two little bits over there as well. Let's get you while we're at it. And your mate. Where's your mate going? There it is. There you go. That is us done. Lovely. Oh, there's a bit up here. Let's get this as well then. Now that's us done. I think. I hope. I want to go home. Have some dinner. Dinner time. Come past dinner time, actually. I expect he's closed the gate as well. Why has he left his lamb over it? I bet he's gone to the blooming pub. A bit of distance to walk to the pub. Never mind. Not my problem. We'll go out this gate. Yep. Yeah. Right then, get her open. Oh, there's a tough there, and we'll, we'll do that while we're going out. Might as well. Might as well do a reasonably decent job, haven't we? That's it. Look at that. Spick and span. Right then. Jump out, close her up. Head off home. Where my dinner awaits. And a nice fresh cup of tea. Right, well, it is summer fair day, and we have just been finished finishing setting up Marjorie. Oh look at him coming down here. Slow down, will you now? Lunatic. We've just finished setting up Marjorie's stalls. I've got to pick up the little international with the trailer of hay bales and run them down. I've got to deliver some eggs to the pub on the way as well. So we've got to get a long way round isn't uh, it's not too much of a drama really so we'll just pop you in here lovely and we got the we've got a little international in here now because we've got the JCB in bits in the workshop Turns out it is the pump, and I've had to order one from JCB, and we're just waiting for it to come now. So I thought I'd get it all stripped out, ready for when it gets here. But yeah, it goes like that, doesn't it? Really. 
we get big old case out? We'll pop her here. Pop her up. You can stay there, my love. And we'll get the trailer onto this old girl. Don't remember the eggs. Don't remember the eggs. Oh, I want to sort them. They look a bit precarious, don't they? Up here. Close up the workshop. No. Oh, no. I am definitely too rotund to fit through there. Close all that up. Can I not just try to do this? Yeah. Diet time for John, I think. Get the eggs. So they should be by the back door. Yep, they are. Let's stick them on the trailer. Run them down the pub. Now I've got a. I think I've got to leave them by the back door of the pub as well. I'll pop them on here. the pub. A bit early in the morning for saying things like that, but that's where we're going. I'm sure we're going to lose a bail. It's inevitable, isn't it? So yeah, I've seen some stuff down at the fair. There's some interesting things down there. But I'll save that for when we get there. Nice little surprises. Obviously, I've got to offload these bales when we get down there as well, which is wonderful. And typical. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! Come on, you. There's always one rogue bale. Get on there and stay. Right. So yeah, uh, lots of nice little trinkets down there for everyone to see. I was kind of hoping there'd be a few more tractors, but. And he's been struggling to find people to come. But hopefully this first one will get the word around for next year. 
and we'll have an even bigger one. So we'll just, we'll just pull up here. Grab these eggs. Come on, you lot. And we stick them by the back door. Perfect. And we can head down and see what's going on. There it all is. A little market in there all set up. I'm not looking forward to unloading these bells, but I guarantee you one thing. They are not coming back to my yard. Once they're off the trailer, they're off the trailer. And that is that. Look at all this. Oh, coffee. Oh, I could do it with coffee. Oh, coffee would be nice right now. Oh, look at that old thing. Lionel Stan. Got the steam engine over there. Funny little buggy thing there. And a tank! A tank. Where did he get a tank from? Let's get this done so we can get on and have some fun. Uh, I'm not going to have fun whilst I'm doing this, am I? Looking forward to that hog roast as well. Right. Let's set them up around the fire. Here, have you finished doing that? Well, yeah, because you've just arrived, um, not uh, wanting to do anything, haven't you? Aye, I've been over in tent having a beer. That doesn't surprise me at all, David. So what is uh, going on then? Well, not a lot really. Lots of tractors, lots of food, Plenty of beer. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Hello, John. Hello, David. Hello, James. Is that one of your pigs, is it? No, but I wish it was. One of them tried to bite me hand off the other day. Well, just remember to tag him, James, and then you can have him for your Sunday dinner. Anyway, I'm going to get this trailer off and park the tractor up with the rest of them. See you all in a bit. Right, where am I going to put this? Just there, out the way, I think. Um, well, Pierre's in it somewhere. Lots of trucks here, anyway. And wonderful arches here. I'm not going to get involved in any of that today. I am steering clear. Right. Let's park her up and let's have some fun. Oh, it's Dice Fiat. Let's park next to Dice Fiat. How's it going, Dye? All right? Hello, John. Have you seen this Fiat down here? Well, yeah, it's yours. No, the one down here with the tracks on it. No, not yet. Let's have a look. What have we got? Oh, Massey. Horrible John Deere. Horrible John Deere. Is that the one you mean then? That Fiat there? That's interesting, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's very nice, John. 
What else we got? Fortune. Old Ford. A Zeta. Uh, oh, look at that. She's old. Oh, look at that. They need love. They need my love. They're lovely. Oh. Another fortune and a lands. Nice. Looking good. Excellent. Well, I'm going to talk to Niall Dye, right? Okay, John. Ta ta. How's it going, Niall? What's this then? Fent lend it to you? No, John. She's me pride and joy. She is. I restored her all by myself. Took me a couple of years. But look her. She's beautiful now. You're not wrong there, Niall. She is an absolute stunner. You've done a top job on that, mate. Well done. So tell me about her then, mate. What do you know? Well, there's not much to tell. She was a wreck when I got her, and I didn't get any history with her. Took a few years to get her sorted. Yeah, it certainly doesn't happen quick, does it, mate? So when are you going to do me a deal on this big old girl, then? When you decide what you're going to do with that case, mate. Well, I think you should just give it to me. You know, that's the that's the matey thing to do, isn't it? Anyway, look at that. Renault sent you a sign and everything. Well, it's the new one for the workshop, but I thought I'd use it down here today. Good thinking, mate. Good thinking. Ah, hello, Victoria. Hello, Mr. Palmer. You helping Dad out today? Yeah, something like that. Is Tom with you? Yeah, he's up with Marjorie at the market stand. Can I go see him? Dad, can I? Is that all right? Yes, love, you can go up and see him. Just don't be too long, OK? Can I have some money to go on the big wheel, please, Dad? Yeah, here you go. Thanks, Dad. Bye. Right then, mate, I'm going to go and have a look at this tank. I'll see you in a bit, buddy. Go on, sure to catch you later, John. Oh, this old thing. Hmm. What have we got here? Truck as well. Well, certainly different. Not something you see at a show very often. Let's have a look at the steam engine. I didn't have a look at this earlier. Pretty sure it was a case though. It is a case. Look at that beauty. She is pristine. Oh, lovely little thing that is. Oh, and the Air Force have come to give us a flyby. Where are we? This is that balloon. Interesting. Then we got um Oh, basketball. Where's the ball then? Dunno. Oh, there it is. Let's see if we can get it in the hoop. You'll never do it. Yes I will. Ha <laughs> ha ha ha! See, I tell you, you'll never do it. Yes, I will. I'm going to do it. Here it goes. Ready? Yow! Beginner's luck. No, it's not. That's pure skill. Right, what we got? We got any decent clothes? Or oh, we might get some jeans later, actually. Could do with some more jeans. Uh, don't fancy any of that lot, though. Let's see Marjorie. Hello, my dear. How's everything going? Hello, love. Yeah, everything's going well. We sold quite a bit of produce. Well, that's brilliant news. Nice to know that you're making me some more money. So where's Tom, then? Tom's gone off with Victoria. Oh, big wheel, I suppose. And what's Polly doing, then? Polly's having a nap. Oh, OK, then. Well, I'm going to go and have a mosey down here, so I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. I want to see if I can get some of this hog roast. Or some of this pig. What is that? 
Might try and get a go in that later. That'd be a bit of fun, wouldn't it? Hmm. What are you doing? I'm sat here waiting for that blooming pig to cook. I am starving. I know what you're saying. I'm hungry as well. Well, yeah, you've been drinking beer. You must be half cut. I, I probably am, John. No, probably about it. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, please, uh, if everybody is uh, planning on doing the track run, could the people who are planning to do the track run please sign up and uh, get ready to to make their way off off on 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 their way, please. Right, that's it. Let's get the track to go in. Dad, can I come? What's that, Tom? Am I coming with you, Dad? Of course you can. Come on, let's get in. Let's do it. Right, you comfortable? Yep, I'm all good. 